Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be practicing matrix addition and subtraction. If you want to follow along, the links to the companion worksheet are in the description below, so let's get started. Now we've already talked about matrix order, that is rows and columns, and now what we can do is now we can start putting matrices together with addition and subtraction. And the main thing with addition and subtraction is that the matrices have to be of the same order, that is the same number of rows and the same number of columns. So for this first one, we have that. These are both two by two matrices. So when we add them, what we do is we just add the corresponding parts. So we have in the upper right hand, left hand corner, we have a two here and a one here. So we add them. And so that gives us a three in the upper left hand corner of our answer. For the lower left hand corner, we have negative one and negative two that we're adding. So that's gonna be negative three. In the upper right hand corner, we have three and negative three, which gives us zero. And then in the lower right hand corner, we have five and negative four, which we add together, and that gives us positive one. And so this is the sum of these two matrices. Like the others, it is a two by two matrix. So addition and subtraction really is just adding or subtracting the corresponding numbers within the matrix. So looking at number two, here we're subtracting. Both of these have one row, both of these have three columns. So I'm gonna subtract zero and negative two. So zero minus negative two is gonna be a positive two. Negative seven minus negative four means we're gonna be taking negative seven and adding four. So that gives us negative three. And then we're taking three and subtracting five, and that gives us negative two for our answer. And so this, our difference is also gonna be a one by three matrix. And so anytime you see two matrices that have orders that don't match, you can just bypass that problem because that's impossible. Any two matrices must be of the same order in order to be added or subtracted. So looking at number three, here we introduce a few variables. So let's see, this matrix is being subtracted from this, and then we're getting this answer over here. So we want to find the values for A, B, and C. So let's look at the top number. We have six minus A equals four. So six minus A equals four. So if I subtract six, that means negative A equals negative two. So that means A equals positive two. Let's look at the second line. Here we've got B minus negative three equals four. So B minus negative three is equal to four. Now that's the same as saying B plus three equals four. So if we subtract three, that means we get B equal to one. And then finally, on the bottom, we have three C minus four equals two C. So over here, I'll write three C minus four equals two C. And so when we have variables on both sides, I'll subtract so that I get the variables on one side. So negative four equals negative C. So that means four equals C. So a value of A of two, B of one, and C of four is what makes this matrix correct. And so one single equation with matrices, because that's all this is, we're subtracting two matrices to get a third matrix, that actually represents three different matrices all at once. And that's the power of matrices that we'll see in later videos. That one matrix equation can represent multiple numerical equations. So down here, we wanna solve for X. Now notice that X is capitalized. And anytime we see a capital letter, what that means is we're talking about a matrix. Anytime we have a lowercase letter, that means we have a number of some kind. And so what we have is we have this equation right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna solve this equation algebraically first. 
I'm going to subtract capital X from both sides. So by doing that, I'm left with capital A equals X plus B. And then to get X by itself, I have to subtract B from both sides. So that means A minus B equals X. And again, these are all capital letters. These are matrices. But what this is telling me is that whatever X is is equal to matrix A minus matrix B. Now, matrix A and B, those are both up here. And these are both 3 by 3 matrices. So X will be also. So if I take A minus B, I'll start in the upper left. So 1 minus 0 is 1. And then going across the row, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Go on, down to the second row. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1. And 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 1 minus 1, which start the third row, is negative 2. 1 minus 1 is 0, and 0 minus 0 is 0. So this matrix is what makes this equation true. We solved it algebraically first for x, and then using matrix A and B, we figured out what value that matrix actually had. All right. On the next page, what it asks for is what matrix pairs can be added or subtracted. Now, like I said at the beginning, in order to add or subtract, the matrices have to have the same order. So, A and B. Well, no, they have different numbers of columns, so that's no good. A and C. Same number of columns, but different numbers of rows. That doesn't work. A and D. Yep, those are identical, so that one works. A and E. They have different numbers of columns. So now we go down. B and C, different numbers of rows and columns. That doesn't work. B and D have the same number of rows, but different columns. That doesn't work. But B and E, same number of rows, same number of columns. Now matrix C and matrix D, different numbers of rows. C and E, different numbers of both rows and columns, so that doesn't work. And then finally, D and E, they have different numbers of columns. So the only two matrices that can be added or subtracted are A and D, and B and E. Finally, here it says we want to prove that matrix addition is commutative for all 2 by 2 matrices. Now what is commutative? That means that it doesn't matter. So what we're saying here is that I can take A plus B, and that's equal to B plus A. Now we kind of take that take that uh, take that for granted because it works for all numbers. So we would assume that it's true for all matrices, but matrices don't always work the way we think. So we're going to prove this. Now we say that this is a two by two matrix. So here I'm going to use for matrix A, and I'm going to fill in the numbers: a11, a12, a21, a22. And then I'm going to add matrix B. And that's B11, B12, B21, B22. Now these are both 2 by 2, so when I add them together, I get A11 plus B11, A12 plus B12, A21 plus B21, and A22 plus B. 2, 2. And again, these are all quantities. Now on the other side, we have matrix B written first. So B11, B12, B21, B22. And then we add matrix A, A11, A12, A21, A22. And so when we add these, we start with matrix B. So B11 plus A11, B12 plus A12, B21 plus A21, and B22 plus A22. Now the only difference is that each of the numbers 
are switched around. And fortunately, because addition is commutative for all individual numbers, then we can say this quantity and this quantity are the same. These two are the same. These two are the same, and these two are the same. So that means that these two matrices are indeed equal. And so thus we've shown that we can add matrices in any order we want to, and it will still work. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, click the subscribe button. If you have suggestions or problems you want to see worked out, type a comment below. To support the channel, click the Patreon link to help keep this going. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.